what's going on guys welcome back to scent of south jersey with me kellen for another fragrance video uh we're gonna be taking a look at something very vintage and very discontinued today so this is a fragrance or it's gonna be an aftershave actually from the house of yovan yovan is or jovan however you pronounce it is a pretty uh, well-known you know 80s kind of classic cheap and expensive fragrance they're most famous for musk and i think sex appeal two fragrances that cost next to nothing and last a very long time. So they came out with this fragrance in 1982. It's called a Glacier. And it's just an aftershave cooling conditioning skin splash that you use obviously after you shave. I did it today. I shaved um, you know, probably two hours ago and put it on and I've been kind of experiencing this fragrance. So we'll break down it as usual uh, for the most part, taking a look at its presentation. Then I'll talk about what notes I think are in it because I could not find anything on this fragrance online, minus one blurb on base notes and uh, its performance in terms of my use today. And then I'll, I'll give it my overall thoughts. There will be no rating because you really can't rate something like this. It just would be a fun video to talk about. And as usual, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have an Instagram, go ahead and check out the sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel and of course photos of fragrances from my collection. Let's take a look at Glacier. Okay, the presentation on this is absolutely hysterical. So take a look here. It's got this what looks like really green pine green juice. It's got a gradient on the bottle and this cap is absolutely hysterical with it making it look like a mountain. You know, it's got some ridges there, these spikes. You can see Glacier and by Yovan cool conditioning aftershave on the bottom. You have some sort of sticker here. So 80s, so vintage, so funny. On Unfortunately, the seller that I got this one from um, didn't have a box, right? I did see some with a box, but this guy gave me the best price and it was a four ounce bottle and it smells fantastic. It didn't smell sour at all and that was what was important. So you can take off the cap. It's kind of tough because it's on there. Look at that. Look how this is so cheap but funny because of the spikes. It's very goofy looking bottle. And then here you look like, you know, ridges or, you know, uh, snow covered pine trees on a mountain and you got the splash dabber there too. It is just a, a really funny old school bottle and you can't beat the presentations of the 80s. I don't care what anybody says. So the notes for Glacier by Yovan, I really have no idea. You know, there's no listing for them. If I could guess, I would imagine there's some pine and mint and maybe some herbal notes in there because it kind of fuses together for this icy cooling green, light green, not really like oak moss, but herbal green with like a minty ice cooling sensation. So that would be, the, if I could guess, those would be the notes that I think would be in this. Again, it's just an aftershave splash, so who really cares? Again, performance time, you know, okay, so I shaved two hours ago. I can still smell it on myself. Um, it's it's an aftershave, so you're, I'm not expecting great performance. I don't really care, I didn't buy this to wear it as an all day. I didn't expect wearing it as, an, uh, as a fragrance that's gonna last all day. I just wanted a cool, refreshing, or refreshing splash that was vintage, was not really a fragrance that anyone was gonna know of because I did wanna make a video on it. I saw it on Instagram. So I don't really care about the performance, but if I had to guess, I would say to two to three hours. However, Yovan is known for their strong performing fragrances. Uh, Musk, that fragrance will last 12 hours on me, on my skin at least. So I would imagine this is gonna be maybe better than the uh, uh, aftershave fragrance that comes out today. But again, it's more of the novelty aspect about this one as opposed to really expecting anything from it. So I don't care about the performance, but if I had to put a number on it, I'd say between two and three hours. So my thoughts on Glacier. So let's go ahead, take this off. Let's put some in my hands here and I will apply it to my face. again. Uh, since my skin is still raw, it still kind of burns. Um, you know, I bought this 100% for the bottle. I thought the bottle looked so cool. Um, it's very icy, very minty, very cooling sensation. This bottle's so hard to put back on without like breaking it. So, you know, it's cool, minting, minty, fresh. It kind of has these, these green herbal notes to it. So it's definitely a masculine scent. It's different from musk. It's refreshing, it's cool. So if you wanted something, say, that you could on a hot day, especially with the weather we've been having here in New Jersey, this is a nice scent to put on. It's not heavy, it's clean. Um, it's a perfect aftershave. You know, again, this is something that I think maybe what they were putting out was a, uh, an aftershave that would compete with things like Skin Bracer or maybe Gillette Cool Wave or um, what's, what's it, any one of those. Aqua Velva is another one that reminds me of, of this. But maybe this just didn't take off and it was discontinued because there's virtually no information. I found out about this from the uh, Instagram page uh, Vintage uh, Perfumist and he's got anything you could think of. It's like a museum of perfume for photos. 
And uh, this guy uh, had a photo of a bunch of these and I saw it, looked it up on eBay and the prices for it were not that bad. I made an offer and got this for 25 bucks. And just the bottle itself, it would, for me, that's really what I wanted to buy. It's a plus that this stuff wasn't sour and it's a plus that I can use it. But it's an icy, minty, green, fresh, you know, cooling sensation on your skin that smells nice, crisp, and it's, it's cooling to the skin too, which is what I like about it. So it's great for, you know, for, for the hot weather or anyone's collection, or if you just wanted a weekly shave, aftershave, um, but you wanted something different that stands out, this is perfect for that. Other than that, it's not groundbreaking at all. Uh, I also, again, think it was one that Jovan put out to try to compete with maybe just having an aftershave that can double as a fragrance due to its strength, which this one can do, since if it's gonna last around two to three hours, that's much more than the average aftershave that comes out today. Guys, that's my video slash review of Glacier. Not gonna be any rating, no need. There's no need to rate this. Uh, I don't think this is anything anyone's gonna run out and buy unless you're like me and you like these old kind of discontinued, you know, hidden type of fragrances from the past. Uh, the, the bottle itself is just awesome. So um, either way, let me know if you guys have ever heard of Glacier. You know, what you think of the scent. If you like um, another uh, aftershave that's kind of got that icy blue minty, type of cooling sensation that you use and you'll not put any other fragrance on after the fact you'll just go ahead and wear that let me know in the comment section what yours is or again if you've tried uh, Glacier by Yovan thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching the video today I really appreciate it and I will see you all in the next one take care